Last video, we looked at the law of sines. We can apply the law of sines when we have triangles that aren't right triangles, and you have given pieces of information in these arrangements, angle side angle, angle angle side, or ass. If you have a side length, that side length divided by the sine of the angle opposite it is going to equal another side length divided by the sine of the angle opposite of it. So if you don't know one of these four things, you can cross multiply and find those things. So we're going to look at this example where we have two angles given and a side given. Now, the arrangement of the parts is important. We have two angles. Is the side that's given in between the angles or not in between? It's not included. So this is an angle angle side arrangement. Notice how it's not a right triangle. So we can't use sine, cosine, or tangent. We want to find the distance from A to B. That's this segment length. And we can call this X if we wanted to, but notice how it's opposite of angle C. So we're going to call it lowercase c. We're going to use the law of sines because it's in the arrangement of angle angle side. Law of sines is just a proportion. Where if you want to find this lowercase c, put that in your numerator, and you're going to divide that by the sine of the angle that's opposite of it. So in this particular case, you're going to divide by sine of 100. Now, whatever that ratio is, it's got to equal the same thing as this ratio. So you have a five, you have that side length of five. Notice how that's across from an angle that's 30 degrees. So a side length over the sine of the angle opposite of it is always equal to any other side length over the sine of the angle opposite of it. Now you have three of these four things. All we need to do at this point is cross multiply. So we're going to take five times the sine of 100, and that's just a number. And we're going to set that equal to C times the sine of 30. You want to get C by itself, so you're going to divide both sides by the sine of 30. So I'm just kind of working out the algebra for you, even though we've done this a few times already. Divide by the sine of 30. Your C value, which is that segment length, is going to be the same thing as 5 times the sine of 30. I'm, I'm sorry, 5 times the sine of 100 divided by the sine of 30. Now, you're going to have to type that in your calculator. So I'm going to type in 5 sine of 100, and I'm going to divide that by sine of 30. And that's going to give me my segment length. I'm going to round to the nearest hundredth, 9.85. That's how you use the law of sines. And you use the law of sines when you have certain arrangements of parts given, and it's not a right triangle. It's just a proportion of side length to the sine of the angle opposite of it.